Local 3 Sports with Jake Duran. For the Nagani boys tennis team, winning has become the expectation. The reigning Division I UP champions face the task of replacing seven of last year's seniors, but they're not making any excuses as they begin their title defense. Tor Thorne has more. In 2024, the Nagani Miners boys tennis team will look to continue a run of success that has seen them take home a conference championship outside of the pandemic in 2020, each season since 2011. Since coming back from spring break, we've been able to be out here and kind of progress through through some challenge matches. And that's crucial in the year to figure out kind of who you are and what you're going to have in your lineup. And that's what we're still sorting through. I'm really looking forward to kind of seeing um, if this if this team is is ready to ready to hit that bar and be able to kind of jump and meet the goals and expectations of what's set before them. The goal always remains the same. Um, if there's if there's a UP title out there, that's of course what you got to chase. And um, um, we just have to mature as a team day by day to do that. They'll also aim to defend their title as reigning UP Division One champions, but they'll have to do so with some new faces on the court. The kids realize that every single season, every single team is different. And um, entering this year, we lose seven seniors from our lineup last year, but it was a position that we've been in prior in the past, and we've, we've had groups capable of overcoming that. So the biggest message to our kids so far is, um, I mean, it's so common, but kids need to step up. And we've had some good senior leadership from people like James Thompson in our doubles lineup. Um, Often leaders, they have to make themselves feel uncomfortable to make others feel comfortable. And he's bridged the gap nicely for a number of our inexperienced or younger players to kind of pick up the slack and kind of get used to what varsity tennis would be like. Yeah, you know, it's definitely different, but um, the kids have stepped up. We have two players at two doubles that have never played varsity before, but I think they'll be able to step up and win for us. Everything's different. It's a clean slate. We're just going to do our, the best of our ability to win. Hopefully we can accomplish that. As they look forward to getting in the swing of the schedule, they'll continue to build on fundamentals as they look to those new faces to take the next step. You can always improve. I'd like to you know, improve serve, this, that. But just it goes back, you, you can always improve your mental game more. I, I would like to improve that, not getting mad as easily. Listen to Coach Sari more and, and do what he says. So, you know, we had a very successful year last year. It's always the next step. Get that again. Last year is last year, so I'd like to define my senior year as one of of winning, winning a NPC UPs. Once the season begins, we're able to get more technical into more of the fundamental stuff. Um, but right now, we we like where we're at. We're excited to see how people step up and see how they answer the bell with with an opportunity at hand. In spring sports in the UP, you have no time to be young at all, and. Um, it's such an easy excuse. If you end up replacing seven, it'd be like, oh, well, that's their year that they're learning. You, whether you use it, use the term rebuild, reload, whatever. And we tell them we can't. Teams are always going to be young. You're always going to replace players in a lineup. And what it truly comes down to is who can step up and, and who's mentally tough enough to fill those positions. So uh, the fortunate thing, we do return three or four singles players, and that helps establish a core within the lineup. And then um, within the double side of things that's where it's kind of time to see who's ready to take that next step reporting in Nagani Torthorn local three sports